the Centerville family is looking to do just that, gain a new furry family member to help their oldest son who has Down syndrome. New specialist Kara Bracken shows us they say this special service dog will bring more than peace of mind. <laughs> Peek into the Pilcher family's backyard. And I tell you, these smiles, coupled with this kind of laughter from the family of five, is near picture perfect. <laughs> he loves his brothers. That's his most favorite thing is to play with his brothers. Yeah, go down the side. There's only one thing missing from this picture. To help out their oldest son, seven-year-old Cyrus, who was diagnosed with Down syndrome. He will run away from us and run straight into a street or into a raging river or any of those kinds of things. And it gets really hard and really scary. Nothing man's best friend can't handle, which is why the Pilcher family is raising money for a service dog for Cyrus. The service dog would stay with Cyrus and wherever he goes, the dog would go and it would keep him away from those danger areas. The Pilchers are working with Golden Healer Service Dogs, a Draper-based nonprofit organization who teams up the tail wagging. Typically, uh, Golden Retrievers uh, Labrador Retrievers or a mixture of a Golden Doodle. CEO Mike Carlson says the process takes anywhere from two to three years to raise these dogs, along with thousands of dollars investment. Somewhere between 40 to 60,000 generally. It starts out as early as they're, as soon as they're born, we do some specific things to help with the stress management skills. While the organization puts most of the cost, the Pilcher family still has to raise $10,000 for their service pup. You want Coco to come swing? The cost for peace of mind and more moments like these priceless. It's just another way to be able to enjoy going out as a family and not have to always be scared. <laughs> so far, the family says they've raised just under half of their $10,000 portion toward getting their service pup. For now, reporting in Centerville, I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News.